is Jack Robbins and the topic I was given for production profile to was lockout laws. Um, obviously lockout laws are a very well covered, very well documented um, topic. And in a bid to make this fresh and newsworthy, we thought we'd go with an angle of live music and live music venues and the impact lockout laws had on them. Um, there's also more of a positive swing on this our angle um, in that, yes, lockout laws were damaging venues uh, that they affected in the cross and whatnot, but there was live music venues popping up now in Newtown, in Erskineville, in North Sydney, areas like that, uh, that were really thriving and becoming a hub you know, like a, a new kind of King's Cross for live music and for bands and DJs to perform at. Um, so our research, we obviously looked at some of the figures about um, attendance in the Cross and the CBD, and they were obviously, as expected, very far down. Um, but also, as expected, uh, foot traffic and, and visitors to places like Newtown and North Sydney were up um, quite substantially. Um, so then we decided to speak to a couple of performers who could give us an insight onto life before and after lockout laws. The first was a band called Goswick, who um, are now playing in Newtown and Erskineville and really, you know, not struggling too much with lockout laws. Um, the second was a guy called Anthony Alafarchi, who was a part of a DJ collective called Basic. Um, ironically, he now works at the casino, um, which is one of the main profiters of lockout laws. Um, but he initially suffered um, from lockout laws, but now he's found more work in places like North Sydney, and Newtown and those areas like that. Um, so there's a few positives there. We also undertook a Vox Pop in Newtown and spoke with a few people who provided their insights and there was a range of insights there, which was great to have. Um, we also got some comment from Jenny Lulm, who's the uh, Greens MP for Newtown. And she's obviously a very vocal opponent to lockout laws. Um, so in turn, we put that all together and made a uh, 1,600 word production project. Thank you.